While College Station braced for a weekend chill, the Rebs look to bring their own kind of heat to Kyle Field. Everybody worry about they talking about the cold. They know you ain't worried about no cold. Come here to play. I just don't want to embarrass them. You know, it's just look at them with all their shirts off. Nobody would care about them if I threw my shirt off. You know, I like it. I like the whole receiving core doing it. We got a we got a D line doing it. We got Cooley doing it. Everybody's doing it. I might do it. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. That, that, that must be some NWO stuff. Like, I don't know anything about that, though. Hey, you need to do it, too. I, hey, yeah, no, I can't be in the cold too. like that. I can't be in the cold like that. <laughs> it's warm up, not get cold. <laughs> You're going to get loose. Rock your mouth. Don't let him in your body. Good. There it is. Hey, it has nothing to do with what they do. It's about us. Jump in on three. One, two, three. Come in. Let's go. About eight and a half minutes, that bell's gonna ring. Hey, the most important thing that we do is that we answer the bell. That we come out of our corner and we fight. Hey, all I want is all you got. And then we need you to be that elite focus. That zone we're talking about. Hey, because when you're in the zone, you're not worried about the damn crowd. You're not worried about the weather because you're in the zone. And you're so focused on your job and you're so locked in on your job, you're not worried about anything else. You go communicate and you go do your job. The starting quarterback is going to hand it off, flip on a reverse the other way, and tackle for a loss. Good penetration to blow that one up. Featuring two of the thoroughbred offenses across the SEC, each side stood tall defensively out of the gates. Yes, sir! There you go, man. Has time, now spins away from track and trips and falls at the 33. I don't know if he's upended or just lost his balance there. And Ole Miss will have to punt away on fourth down and 19. Ending the defensive back and forth, the Aggies' seven-minute drive would end with the first points of the game. Davis in motion, fake. Mon's going to try to run. He gets a block, and he takes it in off the right side for the touchdown. So the quarterback himself rushes it in, and the Aggies strike first, leading 6 to nothing. The lengthy and meticulous drive by the Aggies was countered by a quick strike from their guests. Now Woolard goes in motion behind the quarterback to the far side to give you four receivers there. He fakes the toss there, comes back to the near side of a hitch route, caught at the 34, Frankie clear, Lodge down the sidelines of the 20, 15, 10, 5, can he get there? He hits the pylon, did he go out of bounds? They say no, touchdown, Ole Miss. Good job by Tamu that time, looking everybody off, so focused to his left, comes the back round, puts that ball on the money. Swinging his feet, getting those things set, and putting the ball where Lodge can get it. He catches it, rolls to the sideline, and once he gets a step, when, when the guy misses the tackle, he can run away from people. Appreciate that, bro. Hey, hey nice throw. Nice hey. read. Let's go. Hey, I need a stop. I need a stop. I need a stop. Left side, not much there. You're in third down already. Dasher makes the stop. Rebels getting after Mond. He steps up in the pocket, finds Williams out of the backfield. But he will be wrestled down. Sonogo with another huge stop. Yeah, good job inside. It's a hell of a job. The stop by the defense would give the red and blue a chance to take the lead. And yet Phil Longo feels like he's got rhythm. Feels like he's got all of his cards at his disposal, whether it be the RPO game, whether it be the run game with Willard, or just taking shots outside and one-on-one -on -one opportunities. So it's Abu over the middle in the air. A.J. Brown, another big one through the air. On first and goal, high snap handle. Tabu trying to find the edge. He will walk in. Touchdown. Ole Miss, Rebels on top. Let's go! Let's go! Another defensive stand would place the ball back into the hands of an offense on the move. Jordan Tamu winds up, takes a deep shot. It is caught, bubbled, wow. and a terrific grab by Demarcus Lodge. The Texas native shows out here in the Lone Star State with an incredible grab. Ooh, that's a bad man. 40 plus to Lodge, and now to Amu, second and two. He wants a football, and the Aggies appear to be on top. And as the Rebels were rolling, Texas A&M grabs the football back. Now can the Aggie offense capitalize? Crossing route, open again, caught at the 45 and tackled at the 50 as Osmon. They breathed a little light. Momentum changed, now they rushed it down and got it to the 21 of Ole Miss. Mon four completions, three of them to Osmond. And now Mon to the end zone, touchdown, Buckley. Aggies in the end zone. What a good half of football. 14-14 score. Hell of a half. Let's go. Let's go regroup. 
Let's go regroup. Bring it in tight. Hey, hey, four round fight. Four round fight. Hey, now I want your focus to be there. And I want to finish this thing in the fourth quarter. Hey, let's go answer the bell now. Let's four go. round fight. Let's go. One round at a time. Let's, go. Right? Let's, go. let's go get the third quarter, and then we'll get the fourth. Hey, we're all we got. We're all we need. We're all we got. We're all we need. Yeah, we all three. One, two, three. Bam. Let's get it. Quarterback draw, Mond off the right side. Loses the ball. It's picked up by Ole Miss. Down the sideline to the 20 is Cedric Woods. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Woods is going to take it all the way in for the touchdown. That man run a 4 3 40. All the forward turns, nobody in front of him. Do not catch him. Play action, double fake. He wants to throw. Got a man deep over the middle. Comes to the near side, and the pass is going to be picked off by Ole Miss. It was Ken Webster. Oh, no! It's called home field advantage for a reason. And College Station boasts one of the best in the business. Riding the 12th man spirit. The Aggies would make their move to capture momentum and the lead. Bond on third and eight. Sternberger hauls it in. Huge grab by the tight end to take the Aggies inside the 20. Back to throw. Let's throw a route to the right corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Courtney Davis over the shoulder grab over Keedron Smith, and the Aggies are a PAT away from tying it. Kellen Mond, Sternberger. A laser from Mond to Jace Sternberger. It's third down nine, not real good field goal position. From the 34, Mond trying to throw. Now he's going to take off and run, and he's going to be hit and dropped. And he'll be short of the first down after a six-yard pickup. They're going to send out the field goal unit, so a 46-yard effort. There's the kick, and it is good. Seth Small puts the Aggies on top, 24-21. The field goal would complete the Aggie comeback and give them the lead early in the fourth quarter. Play action pass over the middle. Got his man. Caught it. It's Cooley. Cooley racing down the center of the field. He's all the way down to the Aggies. 33 before he's wrestled down. 34 yards to the 32. What a start. Big catch by Cooley, the tight end. 19 yards to the 13. Now left side, Pellerin, who's actually playing quarterback. And from the 13, he'll get to the 10. A three-yard gain. Second down seven here. 22-yarder from Logan. Brown is the holder. The 22-yarder is no goal. And the Aggies hang on to the lead. The miss would give the ball back to an Aggie offense eager to distance themselves from the visiting Rebels. Play action, swing it out to the near side to Sternberger. Sternberger breaks a tackle of 20 to the sidelines of 30, angles back to the 35, and pulled down at the 41. Aggies threatening to make it tough on the Rebels. They get a TD out of this, looks to throw in the end zone, wide open and caught. Getting the left foot in there in the back of the end zone, right under the goal post. It is at a premium now with 436, three timeouts. Rebels going to have to do it in a hurry. The snap back to Jordan. Dancing around, runs to his left, fires down the far side. He's got A.J. Brown who hauls it in for a catch one-on-one. 14-yard -on -one. line, a 24-yard effort for Luke Logan. And that kick is good. The field goal would cut the lead to seven but the onside kick recovery by the Aggies would seal the fate for the Rebels. It is an onside kick, and the Aggies have it at the 46-yard line. But Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies with a 38-24 win over Ole Miss. Hey, we're in this together, no matter what. This group right here, we're in it together. Just hang together and keep fighting. I don't, I don't, I don't have the words. You fought, and you gave yourself a chance to win. We didn't make the plays; they did. But we have, we have to stay together. We have 12 days left. 12. We have 12 days left, and two games, and we got a decision to make. And we're gonna make the right decision. Mama didn't raise no quitter. You understand that? So you get your mind right. You get your mind right. And let's come back and let's finish this thing the right way together. Y'all stick together, lean on each other. Lean on each other because we're in this thing together no matter what. No matter what, stand back to back and let's go finish this thing red the right way. Let's go finish it the right way. All right, we got, uh, we got a Saturday game and then a Thursday game. So you got 12 days, man. Let's go lay it on the line and finish it together. All right? All right. Found me on three. One, two, three, family. Boom. We didn't execute on third down, and uh, you know that's, that's that kept us out of some opportunities. And uh, 
You just, we just need to finish some drives. Yeah, disappointing loss. Um, felt like the defense really played their guts out in the first half, gave us an opportunity to win. Um, credit Texas A&M, they, they controlled the second half, um, especially the third quarter uh, in particular. They were able to hold on to the ball, um, and we just we couldn't get to a rhythm offensively. But uh, give those guys credit. We got to find a way to win. We're in the win business, and regardless of the circumstances, whether it's injuries, whether it's team, we have to find a way to win. That's what we signed up for, and that's what we have to get done. When you go through all the stuff that we've been through with, with this team and this family, I don't think anything else can can knock us down. I mean, we're going to be mad about it today and get over it tomorrow, fix the little things. But this family, uh, it's, it's unbreakable. Can't, can't anything take us down? We've been through a lot, and we're going to keep getting back up every time.